One of the things that we've uh, attempted to do from the very beginning is to build a, a modern Haitian hospital with, with Haitians at the center. And as, as you have a chance to meet with the, the new COO, Dr. Wilfred Cadet, it certainly gives you a lot of confidence as to what this hospital will be. And of course, you know, our own Dr. Jude Bonat has been, been part of the Joint Steering Committee as the chairman. For change to be sustainable in Haiti, it's going to need to be led by Haitians. And I think this is where you know, we believe that when they see this hospital and they see the leadership and they see the quality of service, it will give them hope. This is hope coming from Haitians. After the earthquake, when I joined CRS the, as part of the response to the earthquake, CRS appointed me to be the liaison between CRS and the hospital. St. Francis de Sales Hospital, the one that we are rebuilding today, will be a 200-bed hospital, providing good quality care and being the best hospital that is being built here. I will tell you that we expect 50,000 patients. But beyond that number, 50,000 patients, I know each one is is unique. January 13, 2010, it was all about uh, devastation. We were in a vast field of ruin. It was like just a bomb just exploded. When you get in that situation and you uh, you see the reality and you look into people's eyes and they don't even need to, to talk to you. You just see the, the ask, you see the, the help me coming out of their eyes. You just cannot walk away from those people. You have to do something. People are so happy, Catholics and non-Catholics, because it gives them hope that leadership is coming from within the country of Haiti. There's an enormous capacity to do this project. and. Our intent was never to make this a hospital managed from the outside, but a hospital managed by Asians. And as we move forward, we realize it takes a lot of time, but you also realize that the capacity is there to do this. It's also uh, innovating, um, taking the earthquake, taking what have happened as an opportunity to even do better than what existed before. That's what this hospital, I hope, will be for the community. You know, that better future. This is building back better. To see this hospital being rebuilt and to see the roof on there and to see the jobs that's created, I think people are really realizing that change is coming. Not just the, the promise of change, but positive change. This hospital is a sign of better future, hope for a better Haiti, and this hospital is also a sign of commitment of the church to be more involved, you know, in um, the life of the people of God. We have been there since day one, and we have committed to continue to accompany the church um, in the long run to make sure that this hospital really serve its purpose. Okay. It hasn't been easy, but it is important for the Haitian people, for the poorest of the poor, and it's important for the country.